this video we will go over the initial steps of setting up a program at your site and creating activities. In all, there will be more to creating these than what is shown in this video, but we will cover the first steps here. For each new school year or summer program, you will need to create your program and activities within that program. As a general rule of thumb, most of the time you will only have one program at a site during a school year and then a diverse offering of different activities housed under it. For example, you may create a program called the XYZ Elementary School 2015-2016 After School Program. Under that program, you will now create your different activities such as homework help hour, math tutoring, mentoring, robotics, and so on. The program you create and name is really a tool that KCC uses to group and organize the activities that you offer. This however can be a bit confusing because you may call your robotics activity a program. But for the sake of clarity, we will always refer to this type of item as an activity. When we are saying program, we are referring to the next level up that is the grouping of these activities together. We will begin with creating your program. You'll we'll start at the Site Management tab in KCC on the left side menu. We'll then select the specific site that we want to work on. We'll then use the new After School Program tab. You'll be brought to this menu asking some basic information about your program. We'll start with the name. I suggest naming it in a way that is clear to you and anyone else working at your site what calendar year this is and what the overall grouping of activities are. We suggest using the site name, the school year, in either program or after school program. You will then select complete the remaining items on this list, being careful when selecting the school year and the master calendar that you want to use. All blue check, check marks denote required fields. Once you have completed this form, click save. That is all you need to do to create your program. We will now move on to your activities. The activities are the real nuts and bolts of all the great things you offer your students. This is where KCC will track the types of things that your students are doing as well as their attendance. This is a step that will need to be repeated as needed based on the new activities that you will be offering. So let's get started. You'll begin at the After School Program tab. From here, you will select the activity option and the site that you're looking to work in. Once you do, you'll be met with this screen. You'll display the school year, the program, and any activities that you currently have created. As you will be working with a brand new program, this should be blank. You will then be presented with a form similar to the one that you completed for the program, but with some additional information. Here you will give your activity its name, fill out its mean time, and assign its subjects, targets, and categories. For all three of the latter, you can assign an activity to have multiple subjects, targets, or categories, but for the category option, you will also be asked to weight it in addition. Much like the naming of the program, we suggest naming your activity in a way that includes the year that it is offered. This helps to avoid confusion and errors in entering data and managing your activities down the road. For example, you can name your robotics activity Robotics 2015-2016. Once you have completed this form, click Save and repeat as needed, creating all your activities that you offer. That is all for today's video on program and activity creation. In the next video, we'll be discussing scheduling of those programs and activities. Please feel free to contact us at the Missouri After School Network with any questions you may have and use our other videos for basic instruction on additional operations within KCC. Thanks for watching.